Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. It's been a while guys, it's been a while since I last recorded I feel. So I'm very excited to be back recording. We are currently over here. Um, since we last played there has been a couple of changes in my life. I've started streaming a lot and I've also um, gotten a massive PC upgrade. So you might notice that some of the things look very different in the game. Specifically the numbers and the graphics, that's due to updates and due to my new graphics card being able to handle a much higher resolution and quality, which I could not handle before. And due to that, my uh, game looks slightly different. But do not let that hold you guys back from still enjoying the game as it is. We are on our way to go fight in heaven the boss because that's where we left off in the last episode. Finding a duchy, finding a duchy's world and saying we're going to go do one of every area, which I did. I did... Uh, Yukio's castles, Kanji's uh, hot sauna, hot tub place, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. I did the uh, Reese's Game World. I did uh, the, well, not Game World, Reese's Strip Club, the Little Boy's Game World, Naoto's Scientific Dungeon, and then Nanako's Heaven, all the way until the final area with the final bosses. So we're going to go fight that boss right now. I don't know what gear we're going to get, guys. So it's, it's a surprise for me, just as much as it is for you. So let's go. Without further ado, we're not going to waste too much time, guys. We're going to go straight to floor 10, and we're going to go straight to this. And after this, we're going to enter a Dutchie's World. And start exploring a Dutchie's world. So guys, it's going to be a combat versus this guy. And then a Dutchie's world. Let's go. Uh, oh, okay, it's one of these. Show him who's boss, senpai. I wasn't sure what we are going to fight, actually. So this is kind of nice. One of these guys. Interesting. I'm going to start off with a little bit of a normal attack. See what we're dealing with. Okay, completely immune to normal damage. So Chie is a massive problem on our team right now. That's okay. Um, a Buffy dies. This is actually a little bit annoying. Because I don't really have... Any heals on my Dupudine? Okay. Because I don't really have a lot of magic users here. We got two ice, which we can't use on reset and on, on, on Chie and on uh, Kanji. And now we, of course, have um, T uh, Chie and Teddy, sorry, that have Hufu. It's not going to work. So we're in a little bit of a, a tough pickle, as they say, chat. A tough pickle. We're going to have a little bit of a hard time here. So let's try a Pinwheel. Because we've tried Lightning. We've tried Ice. It doesn't work. Okay, so... I think it might only be immune to ice damage, which will be a little bit funny since I bought two ice wielders. But uh, we'll find out very soon. Okay, so he is only... He absorbs ice and he's now physical. So we have to go full on magic chat, which is going to be very difficult because I don't have a lot of magic uses. Also do not have a lot of things. We're going to have to switch our persona, definitely. Um, let's see here. We should probably go the strongest person, which is Anata. Anata has buff Mabufudine. Of course it does. Which doesn't do anything. So we are in a little bit of a tough spot. Uh, Megiddo could be good with the little monkey, I guess, if we wanted to. Uh, I guess Megiddo. We could try Hammer just for funsies. I don't think it's going to work, but just to know he's immune to it. Just to know he's immune to it. So this fight's going to be a pain in the butt. This fight is going to be an actual pain in the butt. Yeah, this guy is immune to actually everything. And she and... Um, Teddy completely, so let's start uh, taking them down with Magatamas, I guess. This is why you keep your items, guys. This is why you keep... People ask, why do we? Why do I keep all my items? Why am I a little bit of a, a hoarder, if you will? Well, this is why, guys. This is why, because you need to be a hoarder to make sure that you have these items when something like this unexpectedly happens. Now, I didn't pre-look at this boss fight at all, so I had no idea what this boss entailed. So, you know, I'm learning the hard way. <laughs> By just jumping right into it to start the episode. I mean, we're literally like 3-4 minutes in, guys. And we're already getting straight down to boss battle business. We don't waste time here, guys. We don't waste time. I cannot switch personas. Okay, I didn't realize that um, that also stops you from switching personas. Okay. Let's go. Up. Let's just start casting Magatamas. It doesn't have too much HP, so it will eventually die from Magatamas alone. Which is great. Just don't use the frost one, because it does nothing. And my guitar is doing guaranteed 115 damage every time, guys. So it is definitely very important. Now we got my Bufudine to reflect the um, ice on Teddy, because Teddy's immune. And we get rid of his reflection, so they can continue using lightning with uh, Kanji, of course. Who would have guessed Kanji and Kanji's lightning would be our strat here, guys? Who would have guessed? Not me. Not me. Anyway, so I'm very happy to get back to playing a little bit of Persona, guys. I feel like it's been very long since I've been able to play. Um, so I'm very excited. I did do off-camera grinding a little bit in my off time. So I have been playing the game. I just haven't been playing the game as much as I maybe would want to play the game. So very, very, very happy to be back playing some Persona 4 Golden. Very excited. Um, Persona 5 Royale 
is the next game I want to play. And then, of course, Persona 3 Fest, which was recently re-released for Steam, I think, uh, is a big deal because, obviously, it allows me to... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. The monkey, right? And the monkey. For Megiddo. And uh, Persona 3 getting released, re-released, Persona 3 Fez, means that we're probably going to be doing a Persona 3 playthrough on the channel, which I personally am extremely excited for. I really like Persona 3. I think it's one of the best. It has one or two characters that I'm not too fond of, but it definitely has a bunch of interesting characters that I like a lot in the game. Um, it's a little bit frustrating to play, is why I haven't played it too much, because it has a tired, tired system, or a system where you get tired, which I absolutely think is the worst thing in history. Why would you create... A grindy game where I can't grind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? So that's slightly frustrating. But other than that, I'm very excited to be uh, quite hopefully playing Persona 3 Phase soon for the channel. Now, we do need to decide if we're going to go Persona 3 Phase first or if we're going to go for um, Persona 5 Royale first. I think maybe we should do 3 first because we've done 5 twice and we've done 4 now. So 3 feels like the natural progression of things. But we haven't done Persona 5 Royale. We did a Persona 5 Blind Let's Play. We did a Persona 5 100 cent Platinum Guide, which is almost perfect, but had one small flaw. And as you all know, I got absolutely ripped apart for that one small flaw. <laughs> but it is my mistake. I did make a small mistake in the guide. But it's not um, life-changing, right? If you follow the guide and you have a little bit of brains, you can still get the full, um, all the achievements and get max of everything. So it's not too difficult. Okay, he's almost dead. You know, we've had to use a lot of items here. But like I said, this is why we hoard items, guys. This is why I grind and run around. Because this is what it's for. It's for these type of situations where if I made a small critical error, like coming into a boss fight that was immune to, well, all the elements, basically, I had a had an alternative option here. I had an alternative option. But obviously, this enemy wasn't immune to all the elements. It was just immune to ice. And I happen to bring two ice users into my with me along into the fight. So if anything, I kind of accidentally handicapped myself and made the fight harder for myself. So it's kind of interesting in, in a sense. There we go. Easy peasy. Spam items, spam spells. Pretty straightforward. And you get a little bit of experience. My courage has increased. My courage is really maxed, I think. But thank you. Nice. Right, so let's see what we get now from, from this. I'm not even sure what we get here. Honestly. And like... There's something on the floor. A chakra ring. Okay, is there more stuff? Okay, there's nothing else here, it seems. It seems like that chakra ring was just it. Very odd. Also, odd place to put it, I feel. There we go. I just am an explorer, so I wanted to immediately check the other areas. Okay, I'm not sure if Fob is the one that's giving me the 20 30% HP, so I'm not sure if we want to replace that. Let's see what a chakra ring is. Maybe it's ridiculously good. Halves SP cost when using magic spells. Well, that we're going to put on our go Yukiko. 100%. That charm, I think, gives us uh, extra magic. If I remember correctly. Yeah, magic. I think um, chakra ring is way better. Not the best item, actually. A little bit disappointed in that item like really that's the item you gave me that's the item you thought was going to be the best item in the game interesting okay let's quickly change our persona back for um our main character and do a save now we're going to go and do a dutchy baby chat we're going to go do a dutchy baby a dutchy's area is actually very cool but very strong very strong enemies very scary a little bit of a dark room to be in right now with that little noose hanging there, but hey, it's part of the game. Are you ready? Good luck. Yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. You hear voices from somewhere. Aha! I told you to come after me, and you actually came. You Don't you guys have anything better to do? What a bunch of losers. Let's find the couple ourselves. Let's meet up at the special headquarters today. Am I right or am I right? Man, it's embarrassing. How old are you guys? <laughs> oh crap, my stomach's hurting. Come on! You're all students, right? Shouldn't you be studying instead of wasting your time with us? Study hard, get into a good college, work at a respectable company, marry a cute girl. Why are you guys so desperate when it comes to something so useless? Won't you regret it once you're adults? What's up with this guy? Out of all the things we've dealt with in this world, he pisses me off the most. We're not letting him get away. Amen, sister. Amen. So I really like his design, like police tape everywhere, like city, uh, because he's a city boy that came to the, like, the boondies. Um, and uh, I can't remember the area's name. What is the place? It's not Shibuya. I'm thinking about Persona 5 because I'm playing so much Persona 5 Royale lately. Um, 
what is this called? Inaba. He came to Inaba and this is like a small town zone. You know, he's a city boy. He hates Inaba due to that fact. So it's kind of like a amalgamation of danger, keep out police stuff and city stuff. So I really like it. I absolutely love his design. I think it's really, really good. It's kind of like showing how the world is coming apart, which I also think is a very good design choice. Uh, it's just, it's really nice. It's really nice. Anyway, everything here is new for us. So this is going to be exciting. Uh, I always like fighting new things because you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get. You could find something like super powerful or something instant like dies to that, for example. There's a lot of good things that could happen. Now I have done a little bit of leveling up. So I'm a little strong. I'm actually going to immediately leave guys. I'm actually gonna immediately leave. I just realized I didn't want this specific party when I went into a Dutchie's um, area. I don't want double ice. We want to have an alternative um, element. So I'm actually going to leave quickly and I'm going to go and just get different characters. I kind of forgot I wanted to do that. Okay, so we're going to take Yosuke in the place of uh, Kan Teddy. And we're going to take uh, Yukiko in the place of um, Kanji. There we go. So that's the party we're going for. It has It's our starter party, but it has wind, ice, fire, Chia and Yukiko combo, of course, and my main character for all the extras that we might need in chat. So that's why I do prefer this lineup. This is my favorite lineup, I think. I think no, Naoto is not as good as people make him out to be. I think he's slightly overrated. Um, so for me personally, don't really care about Naoto. Don't really care about Naoto too much. I think with Naoto, the problem is you get him so late into the game. By the time you get Naoto, you kind of feel like, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it still to go for Naoto? I don't know. I haven't checked my gear in quite a while, but we're going to be running through Adachi's world and then when we get to like the Adachi boss fight, we're actually going to leave. We're not going to do it immediately in this one episode or until we hit like a, there's this hard boss, I remember, that kind of is really, really strong. If we hit that hard boss, we're also going to, we might also leave on that um, and then we can go st do all the quests around the world and speak to everyone and explore everything and then obviously at the end, oh, Naoto. Encourage Yes, you're right. I, we can't let him slip away in our haste. I must calm down. Kanji, that bastard Adachi, he pushed his luck way too far. Let's hurry and beat the living crap out of him. Encourage him. Watch that. If I see him, he's dead meat. Senpai, you need this. If you don't mind, I want you to use it. Firecracker. Thank you. I actually need that. I just wasted a lot of my items. The music is pretty good. I still think Persona 3 has like one of the best music songs ever, which is the, um, what I want to call it. The baby, 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 hey. You guys know what I'm talking about. Everyone in here knows what I'm talking about. I must think, I must say, these look pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. These little balls. These ones specifically look really cool. I like their design quite a lot. Up, oh, reset scan. Let's go. Weak to fire. Perfect. It's almost as if it was made for Yukiko. Maybe we should change up their costumes a bit. Not really. Liking the costumes too much. Let's just do a little bit of a costume change. Let's see. Okay, so Chia, you have the Halloween costume. Okay, two Halloween costumes and a Junes costume when Yosuke seems, yeah. Actually, I don't mind Yosuke's. I haven't seen it that much, but let's change Chia's. Chia leader outfit. Festival Yukata, 100%. And for Yukiko, let's go for Chia leader outfit, Halloween, Festival, Agent, Neo, uh, Tsukik Sage. It's also her... Wait, what's the difference between Tsukik Sage? And her Yukiko uh, and her festival outfit. Festival Yukata, Yukata. Oh, one is the pink one she wears when she's at the thing. Okay, I see. I don't want to have the same um, on Chia and on Yukiko, so we we'll change it up. Yukiko can have trim bikini. Why not? I don't even know what that is. Let's do that. It's the same bikini she always wears. Okay, we're gonna use the trim bikini, guys. There you go. For all the fan service boys out there like Yukiko, there you go. Just for you. The reason I'm starting with Mahama every time, guys, is because Mahama can potentially take out a couple of enemies for free for me, which is always very useful, but we can also see when enemies are weak or immune to it. So it's actually a 2 for one special kind of situation. I want to start seeing other elemental weaknesses here, so... Reset scan, let's go. Perfect, that's what I wanted to know. I like the Junius overalls on Yosuke, actually. I think they look really good. They kind of suit him too, so... And the Dojima outfit on my main character is the best. Like, let's just be honest. The Dojima outfit's the best one. I don't think anyone here is going to argue that. Absolutely stunning. Let's see here. More money. I'll take it. 
So what I'm usually after here is just XP and money. Money to buy all the stuff out of the shop, of course, and then obviously um, XP to level up my characters. Now, am I going for every weapon in the game or not? I am going for every weapon in the game, okay. What I, Because I've actually had this discussion with friends of mine before. When I play Persona for Golden, um, I played like a Final Fantasy, like a JRPG, right? So I play the collector's all attitude. Like I want to collect at least one of every item, etc, etc. Especially with weapons and stuff. I always sell dupes, but I always keep at least one. One of my friends actually uh, argues with me that that's a waste. He says like, well, you don't need more weapons than the weapon you have equipped, which makes logical sense. It makes perfect sense if you think about it. So technically speaking, they are correct. Um, but I do, however, usually, what are you guys weak to? We don't know yet. So we'll try Magarodine. I just like to use a little bit of elements at the start on everybody. Yeah. So he says I waste a lot of, oh wow, that healed everybody. He says I waste a lot of money. Uh, in the game by doing that, but I just sometimes feel like it's just a little bit better, honestly. I just prefer it a little bit more. Well, nice miss, nice miss. Respect, respect. Actually, we don't have that weak to win it, so let's try win. Very nice. So we do need to work on a lot of our social links though. So once we get through the Adachi exploration, which will probably be this episode and potentially a second episode, we are then going to um, do a lot of social linking and things like that. So uh, don't be surprised guys if we get to a point where all I'm doing is just social linking for like five episodes or such. Oh, that's well. I just forgot that looks really weird in this area. As you guys know, I like to complete the map before moving to the next floor. That's just a little bit of an OCD thing about myself. I don't see the point of just rushing through floors. Explore the map, see what the map has to offer. You know, they could have some good stuff that you've never seen before. And then you're just missing a great opportunity. I want to do a little bit of um, exploration here. So I want to kind of find out what things are weak to. Hence why I'm not immediately using hammer and potentially killing everything. I kind of want to find the, or attempt to find the weaknesses if possible. Ooh. Skill level up is usually useful, but since I'm using a very low level persona that I'm just using to level up right now to get all my personas to max and learn all the abilities, I think the XP is more important, honestly, than the level, uh, skill up. Skill ups are really good, don't misunderstand. But I think skill ups are only really good at late game when you are um, trying to optimize your final bunch of personas. Your final set of personas, if you will. I do need to backtrack quite far here. Oh well. I don't mind. Ooh, a rare. Hello, rare. I don't think we can kill you, but I'll give it my best go. I'm always unable to kill rares. Okay, start with a normal attack. Okay. Start with normal attack. Nice. 1,000 damage. He took 1,000 damage from a normal attack. What the fuck? Okay, he reflects. Seems to reflect wind. Okay, do you reflect fire? Yep, you reflect fire. Okay. You summon something. Okay, great. Nice. This is actually great because these could potentially be weak to one of the elements that I am, uh, I am, you have, which means I could knock one of them down and get a lucky knockdown on the hand if I'm very, very lucky. And I'm going to actually go Magari down here. I don't care about the reflect. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We to darkness. Don't you have darkness? Yes, you do. Killing a rare is always extremely, extremely useful. So I want to attempt to kill a rare as much as I can. Now I'm hoping for a galactic punt from Chie after this. A follow-up galactic punt from Chie would be great. No. No one even follows up when I'm fighting rares. I've noticed. I'm not sure if they coded this to do this, but I feel like it might be. Okay, I'm just going to go for the hammer here. Probably not a good idea in case we're flexible, but we have a bunch of homoculuses and I don't mind losing a life to test this honestly Glorious hand gotta admit. I like the name. I like the name by the Fajero 
Du sure that? Okay, respected as expected. So I think we haven't tested his lightning. So we'll do that very quickly uh, with the ball lightning. Nice, okay. So now we know that he reflects every element. So we're going to keep trying Mudu and Hammer. Some of these rare hands actually do die to Mudu and Hammer, which is very helpful for, um, for getting free XP, basically. Because it's just like it comes down to like a, a lucky gamble, basically. I'm going to Sonic Punch for the potential crit. There we go. I'm going to definitely all out attack here, 100%. Nice, okay. Um, I'm going to keep trying Mudu. We might have been able to kill it just with normal attacks, but I really want to see if Mudu and Hammer reflect, are immune, blocked. Resist. I want to know whatever it is that it is. I want to know. He doesn't fortunately escape, but that was kind of to be expected, to be honest with you guys. Okay. Weird pyramid ladies. I see you. Mahama. I feel like, okay, they're reflected. That's great to know. I feel like something I've noticed and it's slightly frustrating is that in Persona 4 Golden, at least, the rares are basically impossible to kill. Like, basically, they're impossible to kill. It's very frustrating, actually. Okay. Nice. Weak to darkness. Okay. Oh, but are they weak to fire? That's the question. Or do they reflect fire and murder my entire party? No, they're not. Okay. Meteorama? Excuse me? Excuse me? You Meteorama? I did not see that coming. Mind charge. You came to the wrong neighborhood, lady. Now we can just rush for the rest of the fight. There we go. Beautiful. Getting good XP here at least. So we should be able to level up our personas reasonably quick. I'm actually going to take uh, Yukiko and just do a quick meter around here. Just to be extra dexter safe, you know. We don't want to take a chance here, guys, and then get one shot by accident and like, lose everything. Although it is only the first one. Magatsu Inaba. Ah, that's what it's called. Magatsu Inaba. Interesting. Okay. So we have quite a far way to run now to explore the full entirety of this map, but we'll make it. Might fight another enemy on the way. Why not? Now, I would like to try and kill one of these glorious hands. We've ooh, kind of seen everything the glorious hands are weak to, except for Hama and Mudu. I think this is actually just a rush situation. I don't think we need to specifically use spells here. These guys, we've kind of explored them from entirety, right? Uh, except for lightning, we really have. No, it's because we don't have lighting on any of our characters, not even our main character. So we are lacking an element. You usually want to have like three different elements and then the fourth element you're missing you want to have in your main character. Specifically for uh, explorative, uh, explorative purposes. So you can just make sure you can get everything. You don't look so good. Now, I know these like kind of um, domains or sections that we explore are kind of like a little, maybe a little on the boring side due to the fact that you know we just look at areas we've already seen but i think it's worth it to keep this on camera so you guys can kind of see like what i do off camera what i do grind like where my strength comes from so i'm not like oh wow he's magic level 90 how did that happen you know well i did a little bit of off camera grinding, like i said but on top of that you know these are the explorations i do and how i fight when i do these explorations and it gives a lot of experience chat it gives a lot of experience obviously so like I said, there's a very difficult boss coming up. It's really, really strong. I'm not sure if I can beat it with my current persona lineup with my main character. But we can just give it a try. And if we get stuck on that big, super hot boss, that's great. Because then we can just simply um, leave and go do social linking and buy new weapons and finish side quests and all those type of goodies, good stuff. You know, and come back a little bit later. Because we don't have to rush a Dutchie's domain. We don't have to do it today. If anything, a Dutchie's, um, what I want to call it, domain or... Um, area or whatever you want to, might want to call it. I always feels actually sometimes even better to leave to the last possible day. You know, get everything else in the game taken care of to the max before um, taking on the Dutchies thing. You know what? I want to know if you guys are weak to lightning, so I'm going to use a little bit of lightning here just to find out. There we go. I had a feeling. Teddy! Boink! Nice. Beautiful. 
Now we are all out of attack. Lovely. Okay, they did survive that, which is slightly frustrating. Getting a lot of interesting items. Uh, that's the only cool part about games like Persona 5 and stuff. When you enter new areas and start getting new items, it's always very exciting. They're very smart with the way they design that. It's like, oh my god, new stuff. You know, my, uh, my collector brain is freaking out. Okay, so the only thing we haven't tested is Mo uh, Mudu, but we don't have Mudu, so it's a little bit difficult to test. We have Mudu solo with Yukiko, we don't have Ma Mudu, so we can't do like AoE Mudu testing, which should be very useful. Nice, very nice. I like Chia's outfit actually, her Festival Yukata is very cute, uh, and I think it's just very nice. I'm actually going to draw some new cards here, none of those cards excite me. One luck up to our persona is not also very exciting, but hey, we'll take it. Shadow jump out. Okay. I was gonna say let's go to the next floor. Nope. Ooh, three rares. Okay, here we might want to like try hard a little bit. Just a bit. So I'm actually oh there we go. I'm actually gonna use things like Sonic Punch. I'm actually gonna do like attempt my best to um, you know, get as much damage as I can done to at least one of them and potentially kill it, if possible. I'm not, I'm not extremely, ex like, thinking I will. And that's just probably the best, right? Or Cell Breaker, maybe. Does that most damage. And now we just need Chia to like attack and land a hit. And if Chia can potentially crit on her Agoniesta, that would be the best. Okay, it did get countered unfortunately. But we critted Omega critted on um one of them, so we're gonna we actually gonna be able to kill one. I'm actually gonna gamble a little bit here. And go for that Sonic Punch and hope it hits this guy down. Oh, it didn't. If it did, it would have been great because it would have given us an all-out attack. Which would have definitely killed at least one. So, it would have been great. I'm going to attack this. I think I think this does more. Yeah, it does a little bit more. Unfortunately, I didn't heal um, Chie because I wanted to make sure I got the kill. But if I would healed, I could have used Anestria maybe. Which might have been good. The counter that that one got on the Chie almost costed me everything <laughs> we're gonna try critting this guy down no we did kill one which is really really good killing one already is a, like gonna be quite a large boost i'm suspecting if we can kill a second one that would be great i'm not gonna get my hopes up too high but i'm definitely gonna try but i'm gonna do a little bit of a heal here so chia can use her ultimate or not her alter agonestra and hopefully we could potentially kill one with that because as you guys saw her agonestra does like 2k and they ooh. okay Whew. Oh, it escaped. Okay. Hmm. In that case, I'm actually on a god hand instead. I don't need AOE. And it critted. Beautiful. And I'm actually on all-out attack. I think this is potentially our, our best chance of actually murdering him with all-out attack. Now, here is the one that was on full life. 3,339 damage. Crazy. Come on, Sonic Punch land, please. Oh, if Sonic Punch critted, we actually would have definitely killed him. We might still be able to get him. It's, it's not over yet, chat. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Don't land though, don't land though. It doesn't matter. Sacred Eggplant to for, for the win. Sacred Eggplant. Chie doing Chie things, chat. Chie doing Chie things. That's why we love her. Nice. We got two, guys. We got two. If we get an XP bonus card here, it's going to break the world. Okay, we did. We only got two though, but I'll take it. Two is better than nothing. Nice. Look at that. 10,000 XP, 10,000 XP, that's crazy. I leveled up 700 max HP now. Yosuke leveled up, of course. Expected. A little bit more luck to land those crits a bit better. Oh, oh, that's it? 10k and that was it? Wow, okay. I expected everyone to level up. Chie, Yukiko, uh, my, my persona, everyone. I thought everyone leveled up. But the fact that only... Uh, my main character in Yosuke level up was kind of shocking. 10k XP. God damn. Okay. 
Hmm. Huh? Uh, where are we? Sorry. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, Senpai, I can't find any exits. Oh no, what should we do? See? I told you, should, students should go home and study. Why can't you listen to me? You'll never become well-behaved members of society if you keep this up. Oh well, have fun in there. Boa, you think I'm scared? I don't scared. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Better, better, boom. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of enemies. Oh. Okay, lost our controller for a bit, but we're back. But we're back. Power. Oh, because I had Anita on. But Power should have still got experience, though. I feel like uh, he should have still got experience. Oh, wait, I shouldn't do that. Retroflex, and that could kill my main character, actually. Oops. That's dangerous. <laughs> a little bit dangerous there, but that's okay. Oh, look at Chie go, guys. Look at Chie go. How can you ever be fear when you have Chie on your side, baby? Nice power level up. Good. Zoinga. Nice. Now we have Electro, which is what we were lacking. So that's perfect. It's not Mazoinga. It's just Zoinga. But hey, Zoinga's fine. Bam, bam, bam. But the Dachi really think I'll get lost in this tiny little maze? Come on, man. I'm the maze master. I've never got lost in a maze in my whole life. Okay, has anyone not been tested for lightning? You haven't. Okay, we'll test you for lightning quickly. Nice. Okay, perfect. And we share. <laughs> my strategy in, in Persona 4 Golden. Chie. That's it. That's the whole strat. That's all we care about. Chie. Everything else? Ah, don't care. Chie? Yes, please. She's the best for a reason, guys. She's the best for a reason. She's my favorite character in Persona 4 Golden. Apparently, I can't even breathe, guys. Even breathing is apparently too much movement for it to allow me to play properly. I guess what I could do is I could sit like this. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but that way my breathing won't affect the controller. Okay, uh, fully cures party and cures elements. Okay, and Mitra cures all elements. This cures all elements. I think you get rid of the Meteor Hun, right? It's the same thing. Fully cures party, fully cures party, also cures. I mean, you can get, okay, so you get rid of, you can actually get rid of, you don't need a Mitra and Meteor Hun. But yeah, I think you get rid of Meteor Hun, Fire Amp. Oh, and then we can get rid of a Mitra with Fire Amp, and then we have two ways to cure all elements with Yukiko. Or well, not two ways, we have one way and then now we can get Fire Amp as well, so I think that's actually better. Interesting, Fire Amp's the last one, but we're gonna need Fire, we're gonna need Ice Evade, so... Easy peasy. Easy peasy, guys. Goodbye. Easy. So easy. Um, ba -ba XP up. The skill level up is very tempting. You see it, it's shiny, you're like, ooh, skill level up. Maybe I should go for that. But the best thing to go for is definitely the um, XP because you want that XP up. It's more important. Ooh, a red guy. Hello, red guy. Interesting. I haven't seen a red guy in so long. Ooh, they look so pretty. Those are beautiful, stunning. I like it. Pretty leopard print almost. That is just okay. I guess that's the only issue with going for Hammer or Mudu. If they just miss, you lose a turn. Like, completely. It's okay, I'll just use Chia to do Chia things. But imagine we didn't have Chia, guys. It would be a little bit harder. It would be a little bit harder, definitely. It's sealed by some strong force. <laughs> that's right, as you have guessed, I'm waiting for you just beyond here. But did you really think I'd just let you through? Uh -huh. There has to be a way to open this. Let's look around for clues, senpai. Easy peasy, don't worry about it, guys. We got this. So this is the second floor. Does it say second floor? It doesn't even say second floor. It doesn't even say second floor. How will we know when we're, like, done? I guess we won't. Okay, have I checked all of you for lightning? Yes, and yes. Okay, we have. So we can just attack normally. And cheer. The cheer strat. Works every time. Oh, never mind. Apparently everything just missed. Oops, 
from balance, the right balance. That's great, we can use uh, Yukiko to give it us a full life now on Cheer, which works out great with Salvation. And our um, Yukiko's SP, guys, is half. So the cost of all these spells that are super expensive for her are half price. So we save a lot of SP and we get to pretty much have infinite healing and infinite everything. Godon keeps living up. Let's go. Nice. Now, actually, what happened was Godon needs Rampage. It's something he needs for... Um, let's see if a Sunstorm Falls. There's a way to open this somewhere. Let's look for Senpai. Yep. No problem. Uh, he needs Rampage for the Margaret quest, but then my I got a skill card and actually lit up Godon's Rampage into Aeon Blight, which is kind of like the exact thing you don't want. Okay, I feel like there's something conspicuous about this section. Yep, I knew it. Okay, we're not going to go in there right now. I'm going to first like finish exploring this floor, but I had a feeling that middle part looked a bit funny. Looked a bit conspicuous to me, guys. I think I've played a little bit too much of this game. I'm going to Zoinka this. I know he's Hammer weak, so we can kill him easily, but I just want to... Just want to... Oh, never mind. Maybe I should have just Zoinka'd it. I'm trying to get his other elemental weaknesses seen, you know? I mean, apparently he's just dodging everything, so it's a little bit difficult. There we go. Nice, okay. And can we get a Bufula on this guy? Nice, okay. So I think we got like almost all his weaknesses. We don't know if you have Moodoo, so let's test Moodoo on you quickly. Just to check it. I'd like it to be finished up, if possible. Okay, good, blocks it, perfect. So now we know it blocks Moodoo, which is great. Now we know all its elemental weaknesses and strengths, which is really useful. Also, much of this game has like a completionist thing, where if you, have, you actually have to see every enemy's attacks and uh, weaknesses and etc, etc. So I'm just doing it anyways, if it did. Kind of like a, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, maybe like a, a beastuary that I'm trying to fill up. Oh, they're actually going to get to attack? Oh, never mind. There we go. It's like, I'm finally getting to see them attack, and then he missed, and I was like, oh, never mind. They're kind of like hula hooping. I like it. It's kind of cute, actually. I feel like Chia is just killing everything. I feel like we keep seeing Chia celebrate the kill every time. She, I think she truly is the strongest character in, uh, in Persona 4. Oh, a rare. I wouldn't mind killing a rare here. The player advantage, we couldn't make it happen. I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm just going to... Wait, what have we seen all your stuff? We have not seen Hammer yet. I still want to see Hammer. I mean, I know I'm going to potentially lose a free kill on the rare here. I just really want to know if he's immune to Hammer and... Uh, Mudu or not. I really want to know. So I'm going to keep spamming it with uh, Yukiho and my main character until we find out. The problem is it misses every time, so it's really hard to find out. This is a power charge Agiestra. Oh, he countered my cheers, Agiestra. Are you serious, bro? Oh my word, that makes me mad. He actually countered my Chie Agarista. That makes me kind of frustrated. Hey, what are you weak to, Lion Boy? Mudu. What about Hama? Blocks it. Nice. Hey, at least we found something. I know we're missing on the, on the big hand every time, but... You just balls like yourself. Oh, you fool. Oh, you fool. Oh, Chia is going to destroy you, so. Yep. What are you weak to again? We don't know. Okay. Bye. Why would you ever balls like yourself and make it easy for me to kill you, so that makes no sense. If we power charge with Shader, we could have actually got like 9,999 attack damage done in that attack. We should, uh, in the future, if he we should see if he battles that himself, we should buff out Shader completely and try and get the 9999. Okay, 
Okay, beautiful. Now, if you unlock the whole map, let's backtrack and fall down that hole. Must should be falling down a hole, or if we are like gonna do something at it, we'll find out soon. We definitely leave something at that hole. There's a hole in the ground. Jump in it. Yes. This place. Oh, you were able to escape. Not bad, not bad. You guys are better than I than you look. This place seems different from where we were before. It feels like a duchy has complete control over the area. Just like that door we couldn't open. I have a feeling this won't go that easily. Be careful, senpai. So this is my... Magatsu Mandala World 1. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not scared. Let's go. Ooh, the music's changed up. What could you be to? Eyes. Okay, oh. You know what? Aginestra. My entire strat in, in Persona 4 Golden is called Chie. That's it. It's a, it's a one word strat. Chie. You just death bound me, you motherfucker. It's over. Oh, we countered that. Fine, 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 fine. Bitch. I have a chair. You think I'm scared of you? I'm not scared of anybody. But chair ain't scared. That's why a chair is always in my party as well. It's just one of those situations like, why would you not have the strongest person in your team in your party in every build? Ooh, a red one on this area? Nice. This should be powerful. This should be scary. Ooh, this is actually very scary. I'm actually a little bit scared. I'm a little scared. That's a level 75 Minotaurus. Mini mini wait Minotata mini Minotata I don't know how it goes. Okay, we took out one already and it's blocked, so now we know. Uh, what about a buffoon? Buffala. Nope, it counters buffala. Okay, what about Magodine? Okay, Magodine works normally. Oh, reset scan. Weak to fire. Hey, easy peasy. Let's go. They both weak to fire. Are oh, you fools? You came to the wrong neighborhood. Yukiko is gonna whoop your ass. Yukiko is a gangster. You don't wanna fuck with Yukiko. Bye. Oh, you live? You live? Okay. Mudu and lightning. We can use some lightning. Nope, he doesn't lightning. Okay. Rampanja. But she encountered the Rampanja like a Giga Chad. Okay, and then what have we not tested yet? Mudu. We don't have Mudu, so it's like normal. I'm actually salvation here for 20 SP, by the way. Full HP heal. Complete full HP. All states elements healed. 20 SP. Easy peasy. You're not dead. Die, sir. Snowstone and strength claw. Getting some good stuff. The more enemies, the reason why I try and fight as many enemies as I can before leaving to go back to the normal world is the. Oh shit. Reset scan again though, Pog is. Bruh, they keep just giving me the easiest go ever. Reset scan shows the weakness, cast the weakness, done. It's that easy. It's that easy. Chia, Reset is making this too easy. Chia and Reset, best goals, I guess. I mean, I did, I have been saying during this let's play that Chia has, uh, sorry, Rosette has been growing on me a lot, right? So I, be, I have said this, like, I really feel Rosette for me personally, be, oops, I pushed the wrong button. Actually, I don't know how I, how I do that. I want to do this. See, it, it, it's not hard to pull up the map, but I still do it the wrong button every time. I'm talking about map, okay, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. And now we can kind of see like how good Rosette is in the open, in like the combat side of things. Her persona is so good. Buffs my party, heals my party, heals my SP, you know, saves me in a pinch, puts barriers on me, uh, does reset scan. It's just so good. Every single aspect of her persona is so good. And she's only social link number nine, I think, because I fudged up and I didn't get it to 10 in time before Dutchie's uh, thing like I wanted to. But we'll get it to 10 probably soon. Uh, maybe when we go back to the normal world after this first initial exploration. Okay, I'm not gonna insta kill. I'm gonna like just do some other stuff, just to see some we other weaknesses and things, and then we'll just kill at the end. It's okay. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Who is that scan again? Weak to fire. Okay. Weak to fire and hammer. My goodness. You poor enemies. Whatever would you have done? It's also so interesting that Yukiko has um can cause so many spells with the chakra ring. Oh my word. I thought the chakra ring was bad at first, but the fact that we have what I almost want to say like infinite SP healing with Risei kind of means the chakra ring means that Yukiko will never run out of SP basically. If I didn't need the HP buff on my main character, I would actually equip it on my main character. Unfortunately, my character needs the main HP so we don't get one shot by some bullshit, which has happened before, so. Ooh, a rare and a golden hand. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. I, I really hope it balls X itself again. I want to see if I can get 99 damage with with uh, Chie. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. <laughs> Please balls like yourself. I want to get a freaking Chie 9999 damage attack. Soul break. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, that's fine. Poison Ma, That's not good. Okay, I get extra, I guess. Please encounter it, someone. Nice. Ooh, missed on two people, really? This one's a little bit lower HP, so we'll go for this guy. Nice crit! Beautiful, Yukiko! Someone follow up! Yes, Yosuke, follow up! Beautiful. Nice. I would have preferred, like, a follow up from, like, Kanji or something, but... It is what it is. They do get up, unfortunately. Pulimpa, oh no. Ooh, that's bad. Wait, reset for the win. Oh, reset for the win. Please kill my status elements. Come on, reset. Nice. So, Mudun. Okay, Chie took the hit. It's a little bit frustrating because now we can't uh, use Agonestra on Chie. Slightly frustrating. But it's okay. I'm going to heal with Yukiko here instead of um, attacking because we're not going to kill it with Yukiko's attack anyway even if, unless we get a lucky crit again and with Chia's again yesterday we might be able to kill something so I feel like if you for the since we're gambling anyway we might as well gamble with uh, Chia's again yesterday instead of anything else they have every elemental thing that's frustrating oh my goodness The problem is, even if we crit now, we can't all out attack, so it's kind of bad. Okay, I'm going to... The problem is, if, if Yosuke falls now, which he might... Okay, then if Yosuke had fallen, we would have, um... They would have ran away. They're probably going to run away anyway, because we're not doing enough DPS quick enough. Because we have to heal too much at the moment, but we have to see. I wish that my main character just crit one time, you know. Don't hammer, Chia will die. Oof. A hammer would have actually killed Chia, so. They didn't Balzac, unfortunately. Can I cast Balzac? Oh, I breathed again. How dare I breathe? Can I cast Balzac on the enemy myself? No, I don't think we can. Uh, I'm going to go hand. It has the highest DPS and our best potential chance to kill one. I think the one that survived was one of the most HP. Oh, we could have Sonic Punch with Yosuke. I've been missing out. Oops. I mean, we wouldn't have mattered probably, but you never know. If my main character would ever crit, that would be great. But he, my main character never crits. I've actually noticed my main character never crits. Yosuke got insane high luck with Sonic Punch and he still also doesn't crit. So that's just a lot of a waste of time, SP, and, and energy for that. Well, I kind of don't like fighting rares at all. Follow-ups are too diff not too difficult. Follow-ups happen so seldomly against rares, and um, also crits almost never seem to happen against rares either. It's slightly frustrating. I don't feel like they should change your percentage-based anything just because you have a. Um, 
Just because it's a rare. They changed my stats, my st uh, statistics, which I really don't like. Okay, so that blocks that done. Beautiful. Um, I get an extra. My number one strat in this game. Right there. Because they're immune, apparently, to... That elemental damage. What are you weak to? Lightning probably, right? Have to guess. Don't matter though, because you're all dead. But I've had to guess they're probably weak to lightning. Skill up XP8. XP8 definitely. Skill up is just not worth it when I have my weak personas. If I have my strong personas we could talk, but right now it's not worth it. Hello. Every time we fight something new that we don't know what it is, we might as well cast Mahama. Yeah, I was thinking the snake would probably counter it. Was that scan? Let's go! Weak to ice. Lovely. But what about Aginestra? We will never know because it just dodged the Aginestra, I guess. There we go. Weak to darkness. This snake looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie though. What about my rugged iron? Okay, not weak to it, but it still dies, so it's fine. Nice. Okay. If we all attack, they die, or they take zero damage because they kind of immune to physical damage. Uh, they don't die, but they also don't. I mean, they do die. One died, but they don't take too much damage as well. I think they take more damage from magical attacks. This is be Yosuke. Yosuke seems to do a lot of magic damage, I've noticed. Damn. I'm still alive, sir. Goodness gracious. Okay, what about Bufula? Nice. 1-1-1. One, one, one. We like it. That's what we want to see, baby. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Let's do it. Okay, that's fair. I mean, the enemies are pretty tanky. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're, they're giving me a hard time. We're like one hour in. I've just explored like three floors because the enemies are that strong. Healthy Homer. Nice. Move on to the next floor. Whoa, you guys never give up. What are you trying to accomplish putting yourselves in danger like this? Trying to see justice done? Is that really justice though? Aren't you just doing this because you want a little spice in your boring lives? What's the difference between that and a criminal who gets his kicks by murdering people? You see what I'm getting at? There's still a lot of time left. Give it some thought. To be honest, I can't completely deny what he said, but that doesn't justify what he did. Right, senpai? How do I not know that? You think I would know that already because um, we've been using our main character light this whole time. But apparently I didn't know that it was weak to light. So a little bit of an interesting situation. Oh, everything died. Okay, beautiful. I'll take that. I'll take that freebie, baby. <gasps> Jin. I feel like Jin is new, but apparently not. Okay, we don't want to take a strength up. It's a tower type. Peaceful fighting and damage. The strength is good. Nice. Okay. I think what we do is we do the second floor, guys, and we stop here, and the next episode will continue with the, the Adachi thing, all the way till Adachi boss fight, and then I'm probably going to leave and go back to the um, other world, to the normal world, and we're going to go do social linking, and selling stuff, and quest lines, and a whole bunch of other things. This is what I want against the, this is what I want against the fudge, fudging um, rare hand, is freaking... Kanji to show up and knock everybody, all the rare hands down on one go and do a follow up that kills all the rare hands and get like 50 million damage. And get a, and on top of that, also get, also get a 10 XP card at that exact point as well. Oh, new card! Malchis deck! Oh my goodness, we just got Malchis deck for freezes. Okay, someone has to go. I think Legion. No, wait, um, I remember I drew Ares. I drew. I definitely drew one of these two. Let's give it a Queen Map. I know I drew a Queen Map. She's this newest one. It's probably the best way to go. Okay, keep, Justice is done, which is great. That means. Look at that, guys. Angadon is done. Nice. Two personas we can put back into our 
into our persona companion when we uh, leave here. So a perfect time to leave actually after this floor because that would be like uh, three personas to put back basically. Okay, so we did, okay, let's see. We had power, power's done. And now we're not doing Toti, Matador's next. Let's go Matador. We to fire, slightly worried. So he is the lowest level, so it's the most logical. Damn, that's a level 66 persona for freezies. I'll take it. Hello. Oh, dang it. We do have Mamudu. Might as well try it. Since something immune to light might be immune to darkness. I might not be immune to darkness. You never know, chat. Wait, why did I guard? Oops. I messed up. Attack. Weak to fire. Right, brilliant. I fudged up. I fudged up. I accidentally guarded with my chair. You never guard with your chair. She's your highest DPS. Why would you guard with your highest DPS? A little bit of a misclick there, but that's okay. So by the time we get out of this dungeon, it should be about a one hour episode, which is like our normal. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too much longer than that, but we'll see. I'm just gonna rush at this point, honestly. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, next episode we'll continue exploring. We'll go as far as we can go in Adachi's palace without dying. Hopefully we can get all the way to the Adachi boss fight um, on the next episode, and then we can leave and go to the normal world and do a bunch of things there, and then come back uh, and do off-camera grinding again. And obviously after that, I will probably finish the Dachi's boss fight. We could wait, like I think, to the last possible day too for Dachi. Just for the, the, like, atmosphere, right? The atmosphere it brings. Plus, I want to get new weapons on my character. My character's been using these boring weapons for freaking ever. I feel like I've had these weapons since, like, Naoto's domain. Yo, these are, like, electro power swords? What the fuck? Nice. And I get that. It's over. Okay, we one. Oops. Oh my god, I got it on my chair again, dude. I got it on my chair again, guys. Oh my word. I must stop guarding on my absolute strongest character for fudge's sake. For fudge's sake. Mm, well, there's nothing else I want, so I'll take the skill up in this case. And we're getting a high counter from a normal counter, I, I'll take it. Just higher chance to counter, which high, less chance to get one shot by physical DPS attack. So actually really useful. Okay, so let's uh, try and complete Magatsu Mandala World 2 before we head on um, back to, to the TV. Do some persona, persona wing. I might do that on screen, I'm not sure yet, I'll decide later. And then also, oops. Way to physical, that's perfect. That works out great for me, baby. Not gonna lie, these trees look pretty pog. I couldn't push the button quick enough, that's okay. I hate things that counter, I really hate things that counter physical so much. It's very annoying. You can't rush them. You have to actually push buttons. I just want to push the rush button and let the game play itself. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing off-camera grinding. I don't like to have to focus. I like to just push triangle and run between enemies, basically. But here we could potentially still die. So we want to be a little bit safer than we normally would, I guess. This is like the second final area in the game, after all. Final area on the normal, but second final on golden. Oh shit, these tables. Darkness. I mean, this is like working out great for me, by the way. Everything is weak to either darkness or light, and I have both. Usually. Look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, chat. Nice, Matto. Level up the Moodoo boost. Yes, higher chance to do Moodoo. Perfect, perfect. Exactly what we want to see. Our Moodoo's will be land even more now. Ooh, wow, we're getting so many different enemies. We're getting so many different enemies here. Oh, but the trees reflect. Oops. Yeah, I was gonna say, Chia could feel this. Chia could feel this. I kind of forgot that the um, trees reflect. That's my bad. Valiant Dance. 
Oh no. Okay, luckily it landed on no one. That could have been very bad. Because, oh, that's so insane. They're going to Balzac my whole party and then we're going to attack them with physical damage. Which is going to make us, like, die because we're going to, um... We're going to get reflected to death. Wow. Okay, that's kind of crazy, chat. That's kind of crazy. Lightning? Nice. Now, do you take zero damage when I all out attack, though? That's the question. Nope, you don't. Okay, good. Uh, oh, Twin Dragons, nice. This is why we bring Chie and uh, Yuki Ho together. I feel like if their personas are maxed, they should. Both of them have new maxed up personas, they should have a different all out attack, I feel. That's just my own personal opinion, but. Physical mirror, yo, it's gonna be useful later. So there's a super hard boss coming up, but I think we can just cast Mako Khan on us and then the super hard boss will get us will get wrecked. But I can't remember exactly unfortunately. Okay, here's the way out. Perfect. Oh a uh, red. Reds are exciting. Okay, well these reds are hopefully. Oh, gonna get one shot by Mamudu. Nope, never mind. Hopefully, they're gonna get one shot by Agnesia. Nope. Okay, hope they get one shot by Magarudine. Nope, they heal up that. Fuck. Hope they get one shot by Maragidine. <laughs> Look, they're gonna get one shot by something, okay? Listen, it's gonna happen, guys. I get the extra. She to the for the win. Yo, you still alive? What the fudge? Holy! The Minotaur three is dizzy. Oh my word! That's Minotaur number three. Ooh, I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna take the XP. I was gonna take the HP heal for Chie, but you know what? I'll take the XP here. Oh, it's a lot of XP. Level eighty-five. Holy shit! We're moving. Shadow jumped out the box! Oh my word, we got you baited, guys. Okay, I have a sneaky suspicion they're gonna reflect normal attack. Nope, they just block it, okay. That's fine, that's fine. If they just block it, I'm okay with that, actually. Anima freeze, that sounds really bad. That sounds really bad! Oh, uh, but we say to the rescue, guys! Risa actually just is the greatest character that has ever existed in this game. Yo, guys, Risa is so good, actually. Like, oh, you have elemental stats on all your people? Nope, not anymore. Yeah, because you're super strong, Yuko, like a bouse. You like it. Respect. Respect the strong woman like Yukiko. Let's go. Oh, you're still here? This place is surprisingly boring, you know. Why don't we play a game to pass the time? Let's see, how about this? You can't encounter the shadows here. Try and reach me without the shadows catching you. Ready, set, go. What the? Oh, uh, he gets on my nerves. I will never give him for this. Okay. So I'm not, actually I think with this next area, which I, I, I hope I'm wrong. But I think if you actually fight a shadow, he, like he kicks you back to the start or he kicks you out. I can't remember. If he kicks you back to the start, that's fine. If he kicks you out, I'll be mad. I'll be so mad. Okay, let's do some persona -ing. Oh! I think we hit 75%. Yeah, we hit 75%. Nice! That one extra persona we got took us to 75%. That's great. Okay, now we're gonna register all our personas, like we always do. Because they got a little bit of XP and stuff. And then we're gonna fuse away all our personas we can fuse away. And we're also going to um if we cannot fuse them, we just get rid of them. We just we sack them, literally. No jokes. I have zero desire to keep these weak personas on me. I just delete them. Okay, nothing so far. Oh we can make Kingo! Let's go. New persona. Okay, so let's see. Enduring soul, definitely. Uh, now physical, definitely. Uh, Meteor Han. 
Meteor Hunt is pretty good, I guess, for full heal. And then we can go for like, um... He's got Evade Fight. He's got no damage. And no way to attack. What do you learn? Can't, he learns now Panic already, so we don't need to take now Panic. What about... Tamion? And then what do we get rid of? I see we just did something. We took something. Meteor Hunt. What about, um, Hammer Boost, actually? Hammer Boost could be good. Nice. We are losing two Personas here. We're losing... Tower and we're losing Anita, but that's okay because Tower we wanted to get rid of anyway because he was maxed out. And I don't mind getting rid of personas that I am not finished leveling up because I usually draw them out and then I max them and I get rid of them. So if they're not maxed or they're still in my party, it means I haven't maxed them, so I can get rid of them. And since I've registered them, they keep all the XP and stuff, so not like we're ever gonna lose anything. So it's okay. Kingu! I am King, your shield, your sword, your friend. The Aeon Social Link infuses Kingu with power. Oh, Aeon, nice. Mari, Mari's level 10. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now panic. Beautiful. Now poison. I don't think we care about now poison too much, honestly. But you know what? We'll get rid of Hamion. Actually, no, wait. I'll get, I'll get rid of Hammer Boost because what's the point of getting rid of Hamion and then, you know? Vicious Strike. You know what? I'll get rid of Hamion for Vicious Strike. We can go like for DPS. Uh, uh, Massively strong DPS type, and I think Endure is like worse than Enduring Soul, right? Restores one HP upon restores one HP unconscious one times per battle. Restores all HP. It's just the worst version than Enduring Soul. So get rid of Endure, and boom. See King is max. Now we can fuse King away with no hesitation. With no reason. I will see if I can if I need to register him first though, just to just be sure because I haven't played this game in a long time. So I'm not entirely sure. I do not. Okay. So we can actually fuse Kingu away. Oh my goodness. I don't want to accept. I fuse personas. Fuse. Double fuse. No more. Nope. 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 Okay. Triple fuse. Matador. Nope. 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 Okay. So there's no new personas that we want. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly see if any cards to give Murray. Always give Mario the cards, guys. Very important. And then we're going to be... Uh, check our comments. We're 75%. Yes, okay. So now I'm going to cancel leave. Now, this is a lot of work. I get it, guys. Like, there's a lot of... Uh, like, oh my goodness. you got to check so many things. There's so much stuff you need to do. So, Kadan has to go. Dismiss Kadan. And then We can also technically dismiss Nadan. I just keep her as a backup when I need her. Because of Megadola and now physical. Um, Principality. Kingu. Okay, so the only one we can get rid of here is Di Undyne and Kingu. I feel Kingu does not have Megadola, so we want to keep both. Um, I think Dismiss Undyne. And that lets us draw a lot of personas. But I'm going to save before I draw anything, just in case. I don't want to mess up. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to quickly uh, draw out some personas. Check Compendium, do Compendium. And now, what I do is I level up by level. By level. I sort by level, sorry. Then I click on the lowest level, which is Izanagi, is and then I start going up, and then I just start doing this. And as soon as I see someone that doesn't have all these abilities learned, I withdraw it. So basically, the concept is by the time I finish the game, all the personas will have learned all their abilities they could learn. And that's kind of the, the strat. You always notice, like, the first couple you already have, so you can't withdraw them. There we go, Queen Mab, we got rid of that earlier. Incubus. Ooh, Titania. I like Titania. Oops. Narcissus. There we go. And now, all of a sudden, we're back on having maxed out personas in our so persona thingy. And none of them are max level except for Kingu, which is our safety persona. The one we go to and we're like, oh shit, this monster might kill us. We need to have some super strong persona to keep us uh, keep us strong. So that's why we do it like that. Okay. So that's going to be this episode. A little bit of a long one. Probably like slightly over an hour. But we're getting back into it. And we had to do a lot of like the boss for the Naniko domain and the Dachi exploration together. It was kind of a lot. I'll do as much editing as I can as I always do. But for now, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Persona for Golden. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like episode and hit that subscribe button. It helps me a lot. And I really, really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys next episode where we go and continue exploring a Dutchie's um, TV world. I want to say dungeon or palace, but that's Persona 5. He's TV world. See you guys next time.